Hello everyone, I hope everyone had a beautiful weekend. I do want to remind you guys that all my videos are timeless, even the ones that are based on like let's say the lunar cycle or current transit. I've watched videos before from other people where you know they were from a moon cycle of let's say a year ago and there was still a message for me. So I get that question a lot in my IG and emails. So yes, all my videos are timeless. Um, if it comes across your, uh, your feed, you know, there's a message for you there. And thank you very much to all of you who are part of this beautiful community that we have created together. Thank you very much for all your love and support. If you would like to join our community, feel free to subscribe, hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I upload. And all my information is always in the description box below. So my timestamps, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, IG, all of that good stuff. It's always in the description box below. Today's pick a card is going to be what side of you wants to emerge? What side of you is ready to emerge? Um, so we have pile number one, pile number two, and pile number three. Remember that these are general readings, so take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Do not force something to fit your situation. With that being said, let's get started with pile number one. So pile number one, let's see. What side of you is ready to emerge or is wanting to emerge or is currently emerging? So we have, I feel like surrender with this image here. I'm getting the energy of surrender. Ooh, was I mistaken? Passion, <laughs> passion, find your bliss, release shame, heal emotional blockage, explore sacred sensuality and live passionately. Okay, pile number one. So what side of you wants to come out? What side of you is ready to be explored or to be, you know, um, expressed more in some way? Well, wow. I'm getting kind of the star energy here, right? You being comfortable in your own skin, you being comfortable in your own sensuality, sexuality, you living more passionately, you finding your bliss, right? Releasing of things that make you feel guilty, make you feel ashamed. For a lot of you, this could be sexual trauma, okay, that you might have um, experienced at some point in your life. That's not for everyone. But for many of you, I do feel like you're ready to heal any blockage, especially emotional blockage that has been preventing you from expressing yourself passionately. And so I feel like this new version of yourself that's wanting to come out is very much in alignment with your passions, your goals, and how you express yourself, how you walk, how you talk. And so I feel, again, a sense of vulnerability, right? That is surrendering in a way. Surrendering and letting go of the guilt and the shame. Okay, for many of you, this version of yourself that I feel like you were unawakened for some reason because I'm seeing this woman here, right? So she looks like she is asleep. Regardless of gender, I do feel that this might have been, this is a version of yourself, but it has been in your subconscious and has been wanting to come out. I feel like you might have even dreams of this version of yourself. But I feel like with this version, because you're going to be more bold, uh, more energetic, more driven more passionate you will be cutting cords with many people in your life yes you're ready to let go you're ready to be divinely guided like you're re you're ready to surrender and let spirit take you to where you need to go king of cups wow queen and king of cups okay so for some of you this is in regards to a connection I have to say it it's right there it could be a divinely guided connection can be a twin flame we have the king and the queen but this can also be that you were maybe in this 
Um, I feel like you were in this receptive Queen of Cups energy pile number one. Again, regardless of gender, I feel like you were very passive is what I'm getting here. You were very passive. I feel like maybe you, again, you were very much in your emotions. And I feel like you're stepping into this King of Cups energy. And the kings are masculine, so they're go-getters, right? They they take initiative. They're driven. So I feel like because this version of yourself that is very passionate is coming out or wanting to come out, I feel like you're going to be embodying that masculine energy more for you to go after the things that you want in life. And this is about creative projects as well. We have mentor and we were just talking about releasing, right? Emotions, healing, emotional blockage. Absolutely. And the king and the queen of cups. Cups are all about our emotions. Mentor. So for a lot of you, again, I feel like you are a natural healer for many of you. I feel like you do have a lot of wisdom. You might be taking someone under your wing. For a lot of you, you might be mentoring others in regards to their passion, their goals. But again, a mentor is a leader. You're not a student anymore. I feel like you were in the student role, pile number one. Whether, whether this means um, weather, you're going to weather something out. Whether this means that you were literally a student in school and now you've graduated and you're ready to kind of step out into the world and fulfill, um, you know, your job or what you studied for. Or this could be metaphorical where, you know, you were a student, so you didn't feel capable enough. Like you were learning, you were gathering wisdom experience and now this mentorship this leadership this teacher role wants to come out and a teacher and a leader go hand in hand and for a lot of you i feel like you're going to go after this is the thing that like you have to go after your passions and for a lot of you you're taking that initiative now yeah and you're going to bring in all the success, security, imagination. Yes, this creative side of you wants to come out. And I feel here that if you do, if you allow this side to come out and allow this side to divinely guide you, pile number one, I feel like for many of you, those of you who are looking for love, I feel like you might find your person. You might find your person. Um, while you express yourself in this new version of yourself. But for others of you, I feel like if you allow this side to come out, you will be very successful. It will lead to a lot of success. And for many of you, I feel like your passion and your goals is to be a mentor, is to be maybe a guidance counselor, or to be a teacher. That's how I see the King of Cups, a mentor, a teacher, um, a life coach, a social worker, someone who's very healing, someone who guides others, who's very compassionate towards others. And I feel like, again, if you allow this side to come out, to lead you, Yes, it will cut, it will allow you to cut other people out of your life. But these are people that are unhelpful. These are people that are not your cheerleaders in any way. But it will bring in a lot of security. And it will allow your imagination to, to open up. To tap into your imagination, may I say. For a lot of you, maybe you were closed off when it comes to your imagination. Maybe you thought you weren't creative. And this version of you that wants to come out is very creative. For many of you, you might be refining a skill, a passion, a creative project.
you're stepping into a new role pile number one and this new role is very creative very much will help you achieve your goals and you will be very successful by the way Because I feel like you're very patient, pile number one. You're very patient. I feel like you're naturally a good mentor. Like you would be a really good life coach, pile number one. But I feel like you're afraid to let this side of yourself come out. Like you don't express yourself or you don't allow a lot of people to see this side of you. But I feel like the side is yearning and wanting to come out. Again, if you allow this to happen, there will be a lot of success and stability coming into your life, pile number one. So that is what I have for you guys. If it resonated, hit the like button, subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload. And I will catch you guys next time. Bye. Pile number two. Let's see what version of yourself wants to come out. I feel like pile number two, you have gone through a lot of <laughs> deaths and rebirths. Uh, just because I'm seeing the skulls here. I feel like you're someone who is very much, maybe does ancestral work. Let's see. This woman is crying. Yeah, I feel like you've done a lot of work, internal work non-attachment okay breathe allow the passage of time endings and new beginnings you are spirit in human form do not cling to possessions face forward okay pile number two this version that's coming out of you it's a it's a version of yourself that is non-attached to things or to items it's very free it's a very free version of yourself like it's very um uranian it's very the full card you know how the fool is stepping into the unknown and it, he's carrying like a little bag or like a little satchel, but there's nothing really much, just the necessities. Because the fool knows that everything that he needs is within himself. And I feel like this is the version that you're stepping into, pile number two. Because of all the deaths and rebirths that you have undergone, you know you are aligned. You know how as energy comes in, you can also release energy out. It's like this alchemist version of yourself is what's coming out or is wanting to come out. A closed door means it won't lead you to where you need to be. Yes, pile number two. I don't know if I said pile number one earlier. If I did, I mean pile number two. I feel like you guys... Again, you're not holding on to attachments. Like, you're not holding on to things. You're allowing things to just be more free, more flowy. Like, um, I feel like you guys are like, well, if a door is closed, it just means it wasn't for me. Like, you're not attaching to any type of result, okay? You're just allowing things to just be. You know how powerful that is? And not a lot of people can do that, pile number two. Not a lot of people can do that. I feel like you're, this, this version of yourself, that is coming out for a lot of you i feel like you're already seeing this and you might be even noticing like from an outside perspective it's like you're looking at it and you're like oh my god like a while ago i would have been so attached to this situation and now i'm just letting it flow i'm letting i'm just like looking at it from an outside perspective from like a higher perspective because you're allowing things to just be because you know that when a, a door is closed or when something is not happening, <clears throat> you know that God's rejections, God's protection. Like when God tells you no to something or when spirit tells you no to something, <clears throat> there's a reason for that. It can just be it wasn't divine timing <clears throat> or it can just be that it's not for you and it's not going to lead you to where you need to be. So I feel like you're in this energy of just unconditional trust. And that's the version that's coming out. You're trusting yourself and you're trusting spirit. And you're like, everything that is meant for me 
will align for me. I don't have to push it. I don't have to go against the grain. I don't need to be fighting for something to happen. I don't need to be pushing for something to happen. If it's going to happen, it's going to happen. And if it doesn't, it's because it's not where I need to be. That's beautiful. You have here, I speak highly of myself while my voice. <clears throat> yeah, for many of you guys, I feel like you've been doing a lot of healing around your throat chakra. I feel for a lot of you, you are stepping. This new version of yourself is this version where you are honoring yourself. You're choosing to see like the sunflower, to face the sun, to look at things from a positive perspective. And it's not that you're denying the negative or you know the consequences or the shadow side of things it's just that i feel like you're in this place of unconditional acceptance and you're just like you know i am not gonna try to force an outcome here to something and i feel like this new version of yourself you're speaking very highly of yourself for a lot of you maybe you started doing some positive affirmations around self-love For a lot of you, maybe you cut your hair really, really short. Wow. Yes. Pile number two. You guys are connected to your ancestors. You guys, this is like a big, drastic new version of yourself. It's like black and white. Like going from long hair to like really, really short pixie hair. Um, it's kind of like that. That's like how spirit is showing me. So they're, they're like two different versions of yourself. And you're not, you're not, um, <clears throat> you're not afraid of cutting someone out <clears throat> or completely detaching. Again, you're just flowing with this transformation. You're becoming, literally, you are embodying this like Scorpio Plutonic energy. The flowers. Maybe you might be very drawn to flowers recently. You are in your power. King of rods. Okay. For some of you, maybe you're allowing something to take its natural course when it comes to a fire sign. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Or you might be this fire sign yourself, my viewer. But I feel like you're just allowing things to happen organically that's what the death card is to me it's not like the tower card that all of a sudden they pull you they, you know they pull the rug underneath your feet and then you're just like wait what happened or like an earthquake hits no the death card to me is organically like you know that there's a cycle <clears throat> you know that things bloom and then they eventually will die you know it's like you you have an understanding of this cycle at a psychological level because Pluto rules psychology. So I feel like this version of yourself is it's very uh, freeing. It's like this unspoken power about you. Like I feel like you are stepping into this king of wands energy. This version of yourself where you just go in and you command a room. That's what Pluto and the king of rods is reminding me right now. You just go in a room and you're commanding power. It's like this unspoken authority about you. You're stepping into this masculine energy about yourself. And Pluto to me is very masculine in itself as well. And I feel like you are embodying this creative energy. You're taking a leadership role for sure. It's like you're looking at transformation right in the eye and you're just like, I knew you were coming. <laughs> I knew you were coming. You know, that type of energy, mediator. Yeah, this side of you is like you're able to see. See how interesting this is? We have two skulls and a woman in the middle. We have two people and a woman in the middle. I feel like you're able to mediate. You're able to see things from different angles. And then make the best possible choice for yourself. And you know that if something is not working, 
in this new version, you're just like, okay, I'm not pushing it because it's not meant for me. I feel like you're just, you're in this badass energy. I feel like you're just um, this new version of yourself. It's like, I call the shots. I call the shots. King of rods. Pluto energy. What you say goes. And not from a place of ego, but from a place of self-empowerment. From a place of, I've gone through all these death and rebirth that nothing really shakes me up anymore. I feel like you're becoming very strategic and a silent strategic. Every time I see, even though the king of rods, because he's ruled by fire, he can be, right, Leo energy, Sagittarius. It can be very loud, Aries. It can be very loud or bold or very, like, in your face. But I feel like because we have death here with it and then it's a king element, kings to me are, are all about on a need-to-know basis. They don't overshare so I feel like this new version of yourself, you're not oversharing anymore. You're like, I'm, I don't. I don't need to explain to you why I do certain things. I don't need to explain to you why I decided certain things. I don't need to explain to you why I'm making the decisions that I'm making. I feel like you're keeping your information more. I'm, I feel like you're keeping your agenda hidden now. Whereas before, I feel like you were very, um, you were very open to everyone else. And I feel like in a way that allowed people to kind of put their two cents in your decision making. But I feel like now you're trusting your own judgment better. Look at that, you guys, the honoring path. Yeah. You guys are honoring yourself is what I'm getting here. Pile number two. Like this version of yourself, you're up center stage. And I feel like people are applauding you for that. People are liking this new version of yourself and you're going to see that. Confidence. Yes, you're going to be very, very confident. <clears throat> There's going to be a lot of luck here for you as well. And a lot more balance for sure. I feel like before you weren't as balanced. And I feel like now this new version of you, it, it's going to be more balanced. Even your passion, the way you go about your passion, your goals, your creative projects, your creative ideas. You, again, it's very strategic. Very strategic. You're going to be planning things out, playing your cards close to your chest. Again, from a place of balance, not from a place of ego. It's like you're striving for balance, but balance within yourself. Not so much seeking approval from people outside of you. It's like you're seeking your own approval and spirit's approval only. And again, it's because I feel like you've worked a lot, pile number two, in self-love and in yourself and just loving yourself. Yeah. I feel here with Pluto and this king of fire energy here, you're going to become very attractive to a lot of people, pile number two. Because again, it's this unspoken power. You might exude a lot of sexuality too with Pluto here and Pluto ruling Scorpio and fire. It might be that you're exuding a lot of sexual power, which is creativity too, but a lot of people might find you very sexy this new version of yourself very sexy again because you're very determined you're very confident and you are you're not negotiating your standards or your boundaries and your power in any way yeah you're not i feel like you're you are honoring other people's point of views like you're like yeah i, I get what you're saying but that's not going to work for me I love it, pile number two. I I love it. It's like you're demanding respect is what I want to say. Yeah, you're you're demanding respect. It's like you're you're just very determined. For a lot of you, I feel like this has been a long cycle coming. Like I feel like this is something you've been working on for a long, long time, pile number two. 
So that is what I have for you guys. If it resonated, hit the like button, subscribe. Do not forget to hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload. Take care of yourselves and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Pile number three. Let's see what version of yourself is ready to come out or is wanting to emerge or is already emerging within you. I'm getting like wise. For a lot of you, I feel like because I'm looking at this boy, I'm assuming it's a boy. It looks like a boy to me. Um, is holding on to this B. So I feel for a lot of you, you're committing. You're committing to when I think of B's is work. Okay, to your goals, to um, you know the things that you want to achieve in life, or to your business. For many of you. So I feel like you are committing to something. It's like you're getting organized. You're getting more serious about your work. For some of you, it's like you're taking your business to the next level because now you're finally committing to it. Maybe before you couldn't commit. Maybe because of external circumstances or because you just didn't take it seriously. You probably took it like a hobby or like a side hustle. And I feel like now, pile number three, this new version of yourself, it's like you're you're committed. You're committed to get that honey with the bee there yeah for a lot of you i do feel like with this new version of yourself you will be exploring your shadow self i do have to say it you know there's some healing here that you will be doing i feel for a lot of you this will be in order to release stagnant energy for a lot of you there are destructive patterns that this new version of yourself is going to show you in order for you to break free but you will be reclaiming your personal power I feel like this new version of yourself is not going to allow you to be a victim of either the systems in place or to be a victim of your own thoughts. I feel like this new version of yourself is also going to embrace the mystery. I feel like you're going to thrive in the mystery. Kindness. Live with integrity. Listen to your inner child. Protect that which you cherish. Be fiercely tender. Yeah, for a lot of you, you're protecting what's important. I feel like the warrior within you, that Mars version of you is coming out. <clears throat> so maybe look at where Mars is in your NATO chart and where Saturn is because Saturn is commitment. Look at those two planets and see like where are they maybe transiting in your chart or where are they natally. For a lot of you, I do feel here. You are protecting what is yours. You are protecting what you have been working for. You're becoming very fierce. Like I'm getting like a lion. And again, with this will come shadow work because some of these patterns may not be the healthiest. For some of you, you might be very attached or maybe may you may be very codependent in something. And I feel like this new version of yourself is going to show you that or mirror that to you. Again, in order for you to heal, unexpected shifts, get ready. Yes, like I said, you're going to thrive in the mystery. You're going to embrace in the mystery. Wow, Scorpio, I am authentic. You're becoming the authentic version of yourself. And that means accepting your shadow. That means integrating your shadow. That means knowing that your shadow also serves a role. That you can use your shadow as a tool. <clears throat> Ace of Rods. A lot of creativity and a lot of passion in all piles. Sagittarius. You might be a Sagittarius. For those of you watching. But I feel like. Or you might be a Fire. Aries, Leo, or Sag. But I'm getting here is like this unexpected version of yourself. 
For a lot of you, I feel like your inner child is also coming out to play here. A lot of inner child healing, especially with temperance underneath this child holding the bee. For a lot of you, you are going after your, your dreams with this ace of rods. It's like all this energy wants to come out. Storyteller. So for a lot of you... You might want to write songs, okay? Or you might want to write stories. But I feel like the way you express yourself is going to become very symbolic. Very symbolic. It's like you're gonna, your life's going to be speaking to you in metaphors, okay? It's like the storyteller within you is coming out. And then we have here back and forth. So I do feel for a lot of you that this new version that's coming out is not going to be afraid to do this trial and error. Just like temperance, right? Temperance, we're taking two cups, we're taking fire and water and trying to mix the two. And that's with that back and forth. I feel like you're going to be learning. Again, you're going to be embracing this like um, inner child within you to be very curious about things and not being afraid to maybe take one step forward and then one step backwards. And again, that's the mystery, right? Opportunities will lead you towards a lot of opportunity. Like I said, for a lot of you, you're getting focused. You're concentrating. and there, But there will be a lot of forgiveness. There will be a lot of healing that will be taking place. I feel like with this new version of yourself, you're going to become very much, very <clears throat> balanced, right? Temperance. But also very patient as well. With temperance energy here. For a lot of you with the unexpected shifts. I feel like with this new version of yourself. You're going to handle the unexpected shifts a lot better. Because you're going to be in this receptive energy. I feel like this new version of you is going to be very thoughtful. <clears throat> very thoughtful, very balanced, very grounded. You're not going to go to one extreme or the other. You're going to become very self-contained. It's the word I want to say. You're going to be very balanced um, in different levels like physical, mental, and emotional, and spiritual. Okay, hold on, you guys. You're going to be combining things. It's not like you're going to be like extreme. Like, let's say the, the judge card. Wow. Okay, like the Libra card, the justice card, where it's like things are not black and white. Okay, or you're not going to be um, <clears throat> like it has to be like the king of swords, this or that. I feel like you're going to be like, okay, these are two different elements. How do I make it work? You're going to be alchemizing things is what I'm getting here. You're like something, we need to work something out. It's like this, there must be a way to combine these two things. Again, you're combining your light and your shadow for many of you. This is what this version of yourself that is wanting to come out. I see you being very driven, very focused. Because temperance, right? It mixes fire and water. <clears throat> and that to some people, that's like, that's absurd. Like, how do you do that? How do you mix fire and water? But I feel like you're going to be able to do that. And you're becoming very creative. This, this new version of yourself. Again, these are things that have always been with you. But this side of you wants to come out. So this is a very creative, 
very optimistic, very philosopher as well, very alchemist type of energy. He's not afraid to put two opposites together. You know, this energy of like, okay, let's try this. Oh man, it didn't work. Okay, it's okay. We go back and forth. Like trial and error. Trial and error. That's what it is. And for a lot of you, this is in regards to a business project, a creative idea. But this is your true authentic self. Again, because you're taking the light and the dark and you're blending it together. And this is what it's going to open you up to a lot of opportunities in life. But there will be work that needs to be done. There will be healing that needs to be done. There will be a lot of changing of destructive patterns. In order for healing and forgiveness to take place. So that is what I have for pile number two. If it resonated, hit the like button, subscribe. Do not forget to hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload. Take care of yourselves. And until next time, bye.